What's going on gamers? RC Styles here with another week of Butin Football League Season 3. Today we have the Baltimore Razors at the Mile High Chronic. Baltimore, I'm sorry, Baltimore Razors of course is the parody of Baltimore Ravens and Mile High Chronic would of course be the parody of the Denver Broncos. I'm not going to say much more. I'm going to go ahead and cut my mic audio here and let the MFL announce team do what they do best and entertain your funny bone later on guys we're here in Chile and Dicker Springs Colorado where the air is thin and the smoke is thick it's pop brownie day here at sold out no authority field and the crowd is fired up for some football after an intense pregame screening of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Baltimore Razors battle. The Mile High Chronic. Win the Orc Toss and can choose to kick off or receive. And they'll receive the kickoff. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life. Again. It's time for the opening kickoff. And a good thing, too, because this crowd is restless, bloodthirsty, and ready to take it out on us here in the booth. I am legitimately terrified. Turn that kickoff with an amazing run, leaving the kickoff team in the dust and puts up six on the board. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. It's two yard run before he stopped. Four. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. It's a glitterception! What's that, Grim? A fabulous interception! He's not going down. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's 
first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! Second down and long. Rumbling and stumbling, he could go all the way. Touchdown! Yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band, Men Without Heads. Remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. for a yard. Second down and nine. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well uh, Yeah, mostly coffee. And he's better like getting both burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm at it anything really tastes good. Good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Two minutes left in the half. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! He caught that punt and put on the Jets and said, See ya! Great play by the punt returner. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. At this rate, the QB's going to have more inter... Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite, Dave, because he's the one who just got wiped out. First and ten. Hey, he's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he runs it for 
for four yards. Second down and six. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Hey, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Dirt sandwich. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. And welcome to the end. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. So he decided to undo it with a time warp dirty trick. I don't trust quarterbacks with that kind of power. First it's plays, what's next? Bribe a ref, then take your money back. Data model, then take your money back. It's a slippery slope, Grim. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. He passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot 
to hunt. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> First and ten. Second down in a lot. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Four. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Great kick! Too bad they don't get points for touchbacks! third quarter and look folks I'll be honest I don't see a chance in hell in here the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense he's looking for a quick score aren't we all Grim aren't we all oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him do him a favor finish him Looks like the, with a timeout this early in the quarter, maybe he just needs a little breather. In this city, if you go to the nose, you smell it. If you go to the mouth, you taste it. I hope he has gills, Grim. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Pundit looks for open field. I had a dog named Snag. He got hit by a car and died. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. First down and seven. And he just used his beast for a dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Second down and nine. They've used a straight. 
strawberry fields dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. For the touchdown. You know, this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh, yeah, after the mayhem ball at that club six feet under. And yeah, my wife could smell the bun there on me when I got home. Big trouble. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Exception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like total shit. No arguments for me, partner. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Either way, they're going for two. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the... There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. And with another pick, the QBs, he could go all the way. It's a touchdown! And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Killer Keska say, What the fuck, 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. I hope that bribe covered funeral expenses. First down in a mile. The nasty dirty trick in the NFL is Chainsaw Man. And they needed that big run right.
right there, Bricks. They should have fucking did, Grim. They should. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock, you know? Oh, man. I can take death and dismemberment, but that was... That was really just gross. And it's first and ten. The Mile High Chronic lose the game. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching the new Game of Bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, really? Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. Shit, what up? What? 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 What?